okay thank you okay. Uh, so can you see yes sir. is it clear okay so i am doing the same math i have given you in your photo i mean from the lecture sheet okay so in that case our x of n it was one three two one and a of n it was three two one this was the math in your lecture sheet i mean lecture photo okay so last day actually i tried to give some description about graphical method but i know that uh, it was not clear to you because uh, in previous batches i used the video fortunately i have provided you the link of the video i think you have seen that yes it was clear very clear and also i have given you the solution so i think according to you you have understood something so i will understand the level of your understanding if i check i will do that but before that there is another method known as tabular method so if you check the page number 7 of your lecture photo in the upper side in the uh, right side you will see that uh, there is a table if you can remember yes sir tabular there was a table okay that was the tabular method so i am going to uh, explain that so in your tabular method you have to at first you have to draw a table so in this side you have to write x of n you can also write x of n in this side no problem I mean, in the axis, in two lines, you have to give two signal. So, what is x of n? One, three, two. Check in the first and the first signal, x of n. Now, in the a of n, second signal, it is three. Two, draw a table in the upper row. You have signal. Then number the second step is that you have to multiply all of this with these values. So if you multiply this one with this three, then multiply one with this three. It will be three. Then with this three, multiply this three. It will be nine. It will be six. It will be. Three. That means you have to multiply the total row with each of the signal from the column. So now it is two. So multiply them. Then it will be two. It will be six. It will be four. It will be two. If you multiply with one, then it will remain same. One, three, two, one. So just complete the table by dra drawing these two rows. So this is your table, okay? Now look. These are the values you have obtained from the definitions. What what was our formula? What formula was? Pi of n equal to summation of n equal to minus infinity to infinity uh, x of k. n minus k okay now look there is a multiplication so actually we have done the multiplication there is a multiplication so we have done the addition and by multiplying we have got this table now what we have to do we have to add them how we can add them we will cut them diagonally we will cut them diagonally like this this is the diagonal so we will cut them diagonally you have to sum all the numbers under same line so why open this is directly your answer 
so in the first line there is only three so you write three here in the second line there is two and nine so it will be eleven in the third line it is one six and six so it will be thirteen in the fourth line it is three four three the summation will be ten this is two and two four and this is one so this is your answer by using graphical method finally you will get this answer also. now the thing is that which will be at zero position i mean i have to draw the final answer i have to draw the graph of the final answer so i need to know the position of zero so how to find the value of zero look in the first signal x of n where is the position of zero at three so just put a arrow over three and সরি এখানে ঠিক দেখে আমি মানে বুঝলাম না যে ঠিক দিলেন ওকে ওকে ওয়েট সো দিস ইজ সেট মেথড অ্যাকচুয়ালি এন্ড আই हैव টোল্ড ইউ দা পজিশন ইট উইল বি ইন্ডিকেটেড বাই অ্যারো সাইন দিস আর দা অ্যাম্পলিটিউডস দিস আর দা অ্যাম্পলিটিউডস অফ দা সিগন্যাল previously i have told you that the arrow sign will indicate position of n equal to 0 yeah. so from the first signal we see that the position of n equal to 0 is at 3 okay. so i have put the arrow over 3 in the second signal it is also over 3 so let me put the arrow over 3 here. so now what you need to do you need to draw a line here also you need to draw another line here now see what is the intersection point this is your intersection point now this is the summation of this line this is the summation 11 so here is 11 11 is this one so the arrow will be over this 11 so this is your total answer now if you want the graph see at n equal to 0 this is the line at n equal to 0 so this value will be at n equal to 0 so and then the value will be 11 yes sir this is your y of n and i have told you the left values will put put them serially so in the left side there is only 3 so here it will be 3 3 and the value of n will be minus 
one. one and you have to put the right values so you have to put them serially so this will be 13 this will be 10 then it is 4 then one. it is one. 1 so if this is 0 this will be 1 this will be 2 this will be 3 this will be 4 so this is your final answer so what you have to do if ask you to do convolution only then you can use graphical or tabular any one of them but if i mention the method that do the convolution by graphical method then you have to use graphical method if i tell that uh, use tabular method you can use tabular method so again i am just revising the tabular method what you have to do at first you have to draw the table so in the first row of the table you have to put a signal in the first column you have to put another signal then you have to multiply the signal which is in the row by every member of the column so you will get all the elements of the table so now what you have to do you have to cut them uh, diagonally actually i have used three type of colors you can use nothing just you can direct write the answers if you can all the numbers under so by summing up we have got these values now we have to determine what will be the position of zero so how to determine them at first put two arrows according to the uh, according to the given signal so i have put the arrow over three and over three here So now, draw two lines and this line, it has been uh, intersected, 11. Now, finally, you have to draw the graph of the answer. So what you will do, just now of the graph, the values in the right side surreally so this will be your final answer so uh, if you have any questions about this tabular method you can ask me question so the question will be uh, perform the convolution operation perform the convolution operation This part will be your question. Uh, I may give you the exact method that either use tabular or graphical. I mention the name of the method, you have to use that method. Otherwise, you can use anyone. You can use tabular, you can use graphical, no problem. So, do you have any questions about the tabular method? No, sir. No problem, sir. No problem. Yes, sir. So now what I will do, uh, do, you, do you have any class after this period? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. So now I will give one example. I mean, I will give you one math. You have to perform the convolution by graphical method. And then you have to take the photo of that photo of your answer and you have to uh, post the photo in your messenger group so that I can check sir. this will help me to un okay tell me sir some of uh, the students are missing the yesterday's class you give us only one example of the graph uh, you need another example <coughs> yeah, yes sir about the graph yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, first tell me wait okay i understand first tell me uh, did you just uh, see the video link i have given to you yes sir we have seen okay so did you understand what happened in that video yes sir some of them uh, we we have understood okay I good mean, most of them so, okay i am again trying to explain 
so try to concentrate look actually uh, uh, okay uh, uh, let me run a video in youtube if i can then i can explain everything Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. So just there is a example animation. Uh, I will try to explain something to you. So just try to understand. Look, there are two signals. Can you see them? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, in your convolution, always there will be two signal. So you have to keep one signal fixed, and you have to reverse another signal. Okay. So let's see what they are doing. Okay. So look, one thing. Uh, in the above side, uh, I see there are two signals. One is red signal, another is blue signal. Can you see? Yes, sir. Okay, so you will have two signal always, and in the two signal, one signal you have to keep it fixed. In this figure, the red signal is fixed. Okay, one signal you have to keep it fixed. You cannot move or you cannot do anything. On that signal so in this example the red signal is fixed and another signal at first you have to reverse the signal I am talking about another signal F first signal it is fixed you cannot do anything with this one the second uh, signal uh, let's name it move moving signal the second signal let's name it moving signal so for moving signal what you have to do at first you have to reverse this one secondly you have to move the moving signal to the infinity minus infinity and then from left side you have to move or run the moving signal over the fixed signal are you getting me yes sir. okay yes. so here here the dotted blue dotted signal is the moving signal now you see the blue dotted signal, I mean the moving signal, it is moving from left to right, isn't it? Yes. And in the lower figure, the graph, final graph, Y of N will be shown. In the lower graph, the Y of N will be shown. Now see, when the dot, a dotted graph touches the red graph, your the result is trying to increase, isn't it? Yes. The moment when the blue graph is touching the red graph, your answer will increase. But before that, the answer was zero. See, it was a flat line. Okay, now you see, as the blue graph is going from left to right, the result is increasing. Check. So the result is increasing gradually. So, we 
we will do the same things that we will keep a signal fixed and we will move another signal from left to right by one step. Now see, uh, there is another thing. Just look. We do things. At first, we have to check the common area. The common area will be checked along x-axis. The common area will be checked along x-axis. And we have to multiply and add the amplitudes. OK. So now see, the blue signal is going to leave the red signal. Still, we are getting some values. So see, now the blue signal will completely leave the red signal. So our output will be zero again. Our output will be zero again. So what did we see? We see that the moment the blue signal uh, entered the red signal, we have got output. And the moment the blue signal uh, left the red signal, we have got zero. So we will do the same thing in our convolution that we will move our moving signal from left to right and we will move by one step, one by one. And then we will get the values. And finally, whenever we see that our moving signal is leaving the fixed signal, then we will stop doing that. So I think you have got some conceptions about the convolution, is it? Yes. yes. So now, because it is already done here, so it will be easier for you. Can you see? Yes, sir. Uh, so we have two signal. This is one signal. Can you see this one? This one? Yes. Yes, sir. Is it clear? Okay. So this is one signal. We will keep this signal fixed. We will keep this signal fixed. And this is another signal. We will move this signal. We will move this signal. The fastest step is that we have to remove this N and we have to write K. So nothing. Just uh, remove N and write K. Just in place of N, write K. In place of A, K. And here, the inside the bracket, the variable will be K. So I think this step is clear to you, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. Second step. Okay. Let's name this one as fixed signal. This is moving signal. So I will use the name moving signal. Okay. So we have to reverse the moving signal. We have to reverse the moving signal. So see, I have made the time reverse here. I have made the time reverse of this moving signal. And this is the answer. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what we have to do, we have to shift this moving signal to the left. Uh, in the video, you have seen that we are moving the moving signal from left to right. So we have to move this signal. So I have drawn this this one. How? Look, this is A sub minus K and A sub N minus K. This was A sub K. This is A sub N minus K. That means this signal is shifted. Now we have shifted to the right or left. We didn't mention that one. We will not mention that. Just remember one thing. What is the time of the signal? Can you tell me what is the time of the signal? Yes, what is the value of 
n here not the, now not n it is now it will be now three. we will tell them three, sir. this is zero is it isn't it so thing if you add 5 with zero what will be the value 5 if you minus 3 that means if you add or subtract something with zero the new position will be the number which you have added or subtracted is it isn't it yes sir suppose this is your signal this is your signal this is, is n equal to 0 now to shift it five times how it will look so five so if it is x of n what will be this one this will be this is suppose this is x of k suppose this is k and n equal to 5 suppose so this will be x of 5 at k minus 5 isn't it oh and look suppose this is k equal to 0 and at 0 you have a signal x of k now you need to find x of k minus 5 what will be the new position this will be your new position is it okay yes sir there would then see the that means if you add position so look what we have done we have added n that's why the signal which was this tree it was at zero position now its new position is n yes. am i clear yes sir okay so so in the left side if it is n it will be n minus 1 it will be n minus 2 okay if there is any values in the right side the yes, first one will be n plus 1 the next one will be n plus 2 look here i did not draw the y axis why because i didn't tell you what is the value of n n may be positive n may be negative n may be zero n may be anything between minus infinity to infinity we will not say anything that's why i did not draw the y axis okay uh, okay now we will move this signal over this one from left to right we will move this signal this is a move this is the moving signal we will move this signal from left to right over this signal and we will get the output you have seen in your video so look now the first step see this is the fixed signal can you see yes, this is your fixed signal and this is your moving signal so what will be your first step look uh remember this concept here uh and this is your moving signal suppose look when this point will suppose you have two signal this is one signal this is another signal so when the leftmost part uh, rightmost part this one will touch this side you will get your output yes, when this signal is moving and it touches this line you will get you will get your yes. output and again when this signal when this signal will leave this signal will leave you will get your last output this this is your first output your last output but until this point touches this point there will be no values so now look at this there is no common part so there will be no values so similar thing happens here see what is the first value of k here this one look uh, i have made a mistake all of these values will be k this will not be n in your figure you use this as k all of them will be k in all the figures okay all of them will be k so look at first we have taken n equal to minus 2 why its first point is minus 1 so we have taken just immediately uh, points before so that's why we have taken n equal to minus 2 and you know when n equal to minus 2 there is no common see 
the time is minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 but at minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 there is no values so there is no okay. common we will check the common of we will check the common for the values of k so if there is no common our output is zero that's why we have written y of minus 2 equal to zero now come to next figure look it was minus 2 now we will move to the right so after minus 2 minus 1 will, one will come so now the new position of n is minus 1 so this was n minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 it will be minus 2 this is minus 3 now see look check the time there is something at minus 1 here there is also something at minus 1 so we have a common in time so we will multiply these amplitudes we will multiply these amplitudes so what is the multiplication 3 into 1 so we have got 3 into 1 3 so what is the time minus 1 that's why i have written y of minus 1 equal to 3 now after minus 1 what will be the value of n? it will be 0 because we are moving to the right to the right side okay so now if look the new value of n always what i am doing look this this was your signal this was 3 this was 2 this is 1 this is n this is n minus 1 this is n minus 2 at the first step i have okay look at this at the first step i have taken n equal to minus 2 so it becomes minus 3 it becomes minus 4 then in the second step i am taking equal to minus 1 so it will be minus 2 minus 3 in this step we are taking this is 0 so it will be one, minus 1 it will be minus 2 see I am just moving this n in the right side. Similarly, these values are also changing. That's why I see what is the time here? 0, minus 1, minus 2. I have already shown you 0, minus 1, minus 2. How this came. So now if you look at this figure, this is your fixed figure, this is your moving figure. Now check for the time. See, at time equal to 0 and minus 1, there are some values. And also at 0 and minus 1, there are some values. So you have to multiply the respective amplitudes. So at minus one, what is the amplitude? Two. At minus one, what is the amplitude? One. So I have multiplied two into one. And at zero, the height is three. At zero, height is three. So three into three. And we have to add the value is 11. Similar way. Now, what will be the new value of n? After zero, n equal to one will come. So if n equal to one, check. If n equal to 1, what will be the value of n minus 1? It will be 0. It will be minus 1. You see, I have drawn the same figure. At 1, I have drawn 3. At 0, I have drawn 2. At 1, this is minus 1. It will be 1. So now check for the time. See, at minus 1, 0, 1, we have values. Here, similar. We have, so this is 1. This is also 1. So 1 into 1. At 0, the value is 2. At 0, the value is 3. So 3 into 2. At 1, the value is 3. Here it is 2. So 3 into 2. Then we have to add them. So we are getting so we are getting 30. Similar way, we have n equal to 2, n equal to 3, n equal to 4. But when we are going to find n equal to 5, see, when n equal to 5, I am just writing here, n equal to 5, it will be 4. It will be 3. So, see, I have drawn at 3, 4, 5. But look, here the fixed signal, it is up to 2. But this moving signal has started from 3. So there is no common part in your amplitudes. Actually, why we are not taking this? See, what are the amplitudes here? Amplitudes are 0. So, if you multiply these amplitudes with this 3 to 1, it will be 0. That's why we are telling that output will be directly 0. So this is the total output we have got 0, 3, 11, 13, 10, 4, 1. Now we have to put them in the graph and see uh, in previous graph, I mean in by tabular method, you have get the same graph. Just see, you have get the same graph. So uh, I think you are clear by some percentage, isn't it? Yes, sir. You have got some understanding, is it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. So, just take any two signal. 
at your home okay uh, i i will post um, i will post a signal and you will do the convolution both in graphical method and your both in is the answer clear or not if the answer matches then your methods are okay and you have understood or if you have any problem you just write some comments on your messenger i will check them and i will give you the solution okay so okay. i am going to give you a, one of the link so it will be easier if you take the clearly okay uh, so i think we can end up to discuss okay? okay if you have any questions you can ask me uh, actually convolution is little bit tough just if you practice two or three convolution it will be very easy sir pictures I think you'll put it. And uh, I think at uh, circuit two course, I have uh, circuit two. And like this chapter, uh, there is convolution. Do you know? मैं खुले Yes. Uh, files of the book, the Eid, hopefully. Actually, I don't have anything here, so it is creating some problem. And up to that, uh, I mean, before from my lecture khata, that's why I am writing everything. Okay. 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 A book is available in internet, so I will write the name of the book in your messenger group, so you can search, uh, download it. I think it is available. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So, okay, you can write your roles uh, in messenger group. Sir, basic is last class. Okay, thank you. Huh? Basic is sir last class. Uh. picture yes sir okay 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 uh, i didn't post because i think uh, i have given you the picture of my khata yes, i have sir. given you this picture i think see yes sir i have given you this one yes sir so so i think everything is in here that's why i didn't post okay uh, yes, sir. So, um and this this one I will give you this also. Okay, sir. Okay. It is here. Okay. Okay. Okay.